Hello, Irene Smith here, and you may be wondering where we are. Where we are is the um, <clears throat> plot that used to have the compact house. Now, my friend Malsey did this house a while back, and one of the things she commented on was that this house looked like it had belonged to a hoarder. And the other thing she commented on was the fact that there was no way to get from the seller of the house into the house itself without going outside. It was only from an external entrance. Well, I kind of fixed that because if we go up here, you'll see that we are in the house proper. And basically what I ended up doing, um, I couldn't find a way to drop a flight of stairs from the first floor to the cellar. So what I did was basically tear down the whole ups, upper part of the house and uh, put in some stairs leading to the cellar. And now the house needs to be decorated. We've just come in the front door here. You can see I... Uh, I left the porch that was here, uh, left the front steps pretty much the way they are, and then inside here we have a central area that if you open the door will lead down to the cellar. Now today I want to finish the upstairs and what I one of the things I did upstairs was to create a balcony where you can go and sit outside um, we still have a bedroom and so far that's all that's been done up here uh, that could be either a child's bedroom or another bathroom, not sure which. Uh, down this hallway, if we open this door, we'll be going into the uh, master bedroom, which I've pretty much completed. Um, we've got a, a dresser and a night, not a nightstand, a dresser and a cabinet. And over here, and please don't forget, chocolate for Merck. Here we have a picture of Merck. So, unfortunately, he doesn't seem to be visiting today. But there is Merck. And there is the bedroom. I like this floor. It's wood, but it's, it's ebony. In fact, most of the wood in this house is now ebony. Why? I don't know, because I can. Uh, and I added a light switch that would turn on the two lamps. Not that you can really see it right now because it's daytime. But this is the master bedroom. Now, we need through here we have a, a bathroom. Um, we need to do the floor in the hallway. And we need to decide, is this going to be a children's room? If it is, how do we want to decorate it? Those are the main things for today. I'm thinking that this house will be a two video production simply because um, after not being able to really play for a while I'm just getting back into it today. Um, I had a little problem with my eyes which I mentioned in one of the videos last week and it turns out that what happens is uh, in case you don't know one of the common symptoms of people who sit and stare at computer screens all day long is that they have dry eyes because you get involved and you forget to blink. 
So because of that, my eyes had gotten uh, irritated, and I had to go to the eye doctor and get that taken care of. So today is my first day back behind the computer screen for a few hey, days. Maybe and another video for Mom. Oh, my whoa, 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 goodness. Whoa, whoa. What are you doing at your desk? Mark. What? What's going on? Matthew, can you explain what's going on? I think yeah, Mom my is making a video. eyes are better, and I'm making a video. In fact, I'm recording it right now. You came just exactly at the right time. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, we were here to make a cameo. We weren't here to record a third video. No, 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 no. No, no, of course not. Well, I was just telling our our viewers yeah. how I took this house that um, is called the Compact House. Ooh. And when you first buy it and go through it, it looks like it belonged to a hoarder. Ooh. There's stuff everywhere. And what I did with this house was basically tear down the whole upstairs. And wow. I made it so that you can not only go upstairs and downstairs, but That's... if you really want to, you can go directly into the basement. Oh, wow. And you couldn't do that before, and I couldn't find a way to do that. But I finally figured it out. Well, that's very so good. So what do you think? Uh, I'm. That's very good. Yeah? So, so what do you think, Matt? I guess, like, like he said, it's very good. You guys have been doing my videos for a while now. Yeah, and we definitely weren't going to do one right now. Well, that's good, because <laughs> I don't want you to. Yeah, I think he bought it. Run! Ah! Oh, Merc! Ah! Ow! Oh. Oh. Don't forget, everybody. Ooh. Chocolate for Merck. For Merck. Chocolate for Merck. Chocolate what about Matt? Merck. Does Matt like chocolate, too? Yeah, sure, but it's not as special as with Merck. No, that's true. That's true. I, in fact, I just showed the people a picture of Merck. Oh, you did? Yeah, your how, picture is in the bedroom. of. is it? Um, I think it's fairly recent. Oh, okay. Let's go upstairs, and I'll show it to you. Ah. In this bedroom that I did. This is the master bedroom in this house. Uh -huh. And look at that. Oh, yeah. I there you are. One. Yeah. There you are. Okay. Well, now I, I guess I have to go now. I guess. Well, before we go, why don't we grab a, some dinner? Dinner? I was going to grab a show. Oh, Mark. Oh, you're good. Isn't it dinner in a movie? Yeah, I thought it was dinner at a show, but... Oh, okay. I thought it was dinner at a... I thought it was dinner at a YouTube video. Well, so, by the way, with all that setup that I gave you, my eyes are doing just fine now, and yes. I am back to making videos. So I guess I'm no longer needed. Well, you're needed. You're yeah. always needed. So, well, come on, buddy. Let's go. Oh, I'll yeah. see you later. Goodbye. Remember, chocolate for Merck. Chocolate for me. See? Yay. Bye. Bye. Oh, okay. So that was um, our friend Merck coming in to check on Mom and very surprised that I'm actually doing something for a change. I guess it's not that big of a surprise to you guys, but... Yeah, he was a little surprised to see me working. So, I was at my eye doctor's today, and he told me everything is just fine, and uh, that as soon as my pupils stopped being dilated, I could go back to work, and that is exactly what I have done. So, I'm going to pause for a minute. I want to pick a finish for the hallway up here, for the floor, and perhaps for the walls as well. And when I come back, we will have done them. Okay, just about done up here. Well, with the walls anyway. Why is that such a small... That's weird. I thought I had that spread out to as big as it would cover. But I obviously did not. So that's that we need to pick something for the floor and I'm thinking that up here it would be nice if we had something and in this floor up here if we had something a little lighter 
than um, what I had in the bedroom. So let's look at, and go back one step. We'll look at panels. We'll look at, yeah, I really don't want ebony again on the floor. It looked nice in the bedroom, but I think I want to go with something lighter. Maybe the ash stained elm. European ash oak panels. Stained chestnut. No. No, I want something light. Maybe the oak panels. And what cut do we want to use? Let's look at what we've got. How about that? Nah. How about... Hmm. That? Sure, why not? Let's go with maybe an angle. Yeah. Let's do that. Okay, that will be the floor up here. Yeah, I kind of like that. So, as I was saying um, before we were... Uh, we had company. I don't want to say rudely interrupted because it wasn't. They're always welcome. Um, but before we stop for to, to talk to our company, I was saying that one of the problems for people who sit at a computer screen all day long is that um, their eyes tend to be dry and that's the problem that I just uh, had was that my eyes were dry. And the doctor, as a matter of fact, told me that my eyes are fine now, but that I should uh, start using rewetting drops three or four times a day and I think I want to stick with the same wallpaper for this whole area. Anyhow, um, and that the irritation that I had the other day that was causing my eyesight to be not so good um, is gone. My eyes are back to normal, well, as normal as they can be. Um, I uh, can see. Well, not up to my usual visual acuity. Um, today's vision is uh, a little bit off still, simply because, um, as I said, when you go to the eye doctor, and he dilates your pupils. It takes a while to come back to normal. And unfortunately today it's taking a while. So I'm not totally back to normal yet. I mean by morning it'll be fine. So anyhow, that's the story. If you remember, oh goodness, what am I doing here? If you remember the other day I told you that a funny thing happened on the way to the computer and that was the funny thing. I suddenly couldn't see well at all. Hmm. I hope that's not too far. 
uh, I really couldn't see. It was very frustrating. Oh, goodness. What are you doing? Yeah, that's better. Okay. And I actually made a video about it that day that I was having the problem. It seemed as though we need something different down here. And we will pause and do that and come back. But in the meantime, we've got our hallway up here. Or actually most of our hallway up here. I have to finish that. And um, as I say, I actually bought this house a while back. And I had intended to do it up quickly and show you what I did. And I just never really got around to it because, well, now I know. The problem was that I was sitting at the computer screen all day long. Hmm, what a strange thing for a programmer, technical writer, etc., etc., to be doing, sharing, staring at a computer screen all day long. Who would have thunk it? Anywho. So... I suddenly realized, oh, I suddenly had the problem all of a sudden that I couldn't really see what I was trying to do. Now, do we want that? Eh, why not? Okay, I think that's it. I know you'll forgive me if I miss something due to my um, eyesight. Let's change the finish on that to we want I want to stick with ebony wood for doors and uh, door frames throughout the house. Yeah, I think that looks nice. I think that looks very nice. We may put a runner in the hallway, a rug. Um, but for now, that's it. This bathroom is already mostly finished. The sink is here. The uh, I actually use a double sink. There's a mirror behind it. I guess I it would be nice if I did the top part of the walls here. So I think I'm going to take a pause here. And what the heck is that? Anyway, I think I'm going to take a pause. I'm going to clear up all this stuff. Oh, no, 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 no. Sell it. I want to I want to stop having stuff hanging around. Okay. So, this bathroom needs to have the upper walls painted. This So, today my goal is to Decide how to decorate this bedroom, this little teeny tiny children's room, and to uh, finish the bathroom walls. And that's really going to be about it for today because whenever I uh, go to the eye doctor I end up, and have my pupils dilated, I end up very tired afterwards. And that's how I feel right now. So I am going to finish this up. I'm going to do the two rooms I said I was going to do. And that is going to be it for Tuesday. Thursday we will finish this house. Uh, do the outside. <coughs> the yard, I mean. And do the uh, cellar and downstairs. And then we'll sell it and see what we can get for it. But I think it looks way better already than the compact house did when I bought it. So, let us pause. Okay, we are done in this bathroom. I did the top part of the walls and I made sure that everything was completely finished. Made the uh, door match the rest of the house. So, there's just one room remaining. And that would be the 
this room right here. This is going to be a children's bedroom. I wonder if the... probably not. Let's just see. I'm curious whether we can put bunk beds in this bedroom. I mean, it's a very small bedroom. Uh, bathroom beds. Bunk bed. Camden. Same as the other bedroom furniture. Um, so let's go with that. I don't know what color I want, but I can always change it. But I do want to stick with the ebony. I will worry about the other stuff later. So one thing that uh, I'm actually considering making a video that will compare uh, the two versions of House Flipper and I'll tell you what I liked best in one and what I liked best in two. Yeah, there is room for it there. Yeah, except I gotta turn it around. Yes, there is room. I'm thinking maybe that window doesn't need to be there though. So I think what we are going to do is my friend Malzi taught me this one. If I do that, it fills in the hole. Isn't that nice? Now we can sell it. I think one window will be enough here. I'm thinking we might want carpet on the floor in this bedroom. After all, kids playing on the floor. It's softer for sitting on. I don't know. We'll see. I am going to just, I don't know, maybe I don't like that wallpaper. But I can think about it between now and Thursday. Because we still have the whole downstairs to do on Thursday. This is the bedroom I already showed you. I showed you the bathroom is now finished. And, and by the way, in case you're interested, curious, whatever, Oh, I missed a spot. Doggone it. Did I sell that stuff? I bet I did. Darn. Anyway, in order to do the upper part of the wall, I used the color on color trick to give myself some cream wallpaper. Where's that spot? That's annoying. Ugh. Okay. So, we're just that one step closer to being done for today. Okay. Now, I don't know that I want to keep that rug. I mean, purple, considering the room is all cream. And we'll see. Maybe I'll just change it. Let's see. Can we change it to something a little bit? try that and you know I okay that should do it yeah that's better that goes better with what's in here I'm not sure I like that color either though I think I'm gonna go with a lighter color lighter version of that color it's a little bit better we definitely don't want fringe I'm sorry, I just don't find fringe on the rugs. Well, I remember when I was a little girl, my mother had a rug um, at, what was it, an oriental rug that had uh, fringe. And uh, we went out one day, not too long after we'd gotten uh, my Ricky, the dog that I know I've shown you in at least one video. Um, and so he was a puppy still, basically. And we went out, and when we came home to show his annoyance at us for disappearing, I guess, uh, he had very neatly chewed the fringe off the rug 
and piled it right where we would step on it when we came in. I thought, that's, that's you know, not the right thing to do, but kind of clever when you think about it. Okay, we need kids' wallpaper. What do you think? Do we want giraffe or leopard or birds? That's kind of cute. Oh, but that's not. I mean, it's floral wallpaper and it's very pretty, but I, it's not what I want. That is the one where they... I guess that's the only children's wallpaper? Is it? I guess. It's not what I want. I just... That's actually kind of nice. Alright, let's see if we can get better colors. Jeepers. It's so dark and depressing. Let's see. Let's try for a... Something lighter. Go for pure, maybe. And then a sort of... How about this orangey? That's kind of pretty. And then for the dark color, let's go more green. Sort of. Kinda. Now we'll see. What do you think? Does this make children's wallpaper? It's not terrible. It's not bad. I kind of like that. I may have to actually carry this down the stairs and outside to be in order to be able to finish the walls. Yeah. Oh good, it will go out in the hall. So we can finish it without having to carry it down and out. Uh, I really think that it's almost easier to do that and then make the window sill. Same wood as the rest of the. Yeah. That way I don't have to worry about. I don't have to worry about. Um, yeah, what don't I have to worry about? Oh, I don't have to worry about whether or not to finish the window sill area. Yes, that's that's what I don't have to worry about. And that is pretty much done. See, I didn't say almost finished. I said it's done. Change, my, change up my language a little bit, right? Okay. So, we need to get rid of that, first of all. And then we need to decide what to put on the floor. We want floor covering. Surface finishes. Um, 
Oh, here we go. Paint, panels, tiles, wallpaper, other. And we want to go with that. Carpet. And we want to change the color to I don't want to go too light. Let's go. Hmm. How about that? Yeah, why not? It's kind of nice. Wall-to-wall -wall carpeting. Anyway, I, I think I started to say before, I'm thinking about doing a video with the things, my favorite things for House Flipper 1, my favorite things for House Flipper 2, and I wish I could throw them in a bag and shake them up and get both, but anyway, I just figured, this is not a complaint. I do like the game. I love the game. I love both versions of the game. I can't wait until they get around to releasing the... Um, until they get around to releasing something. Um, oh yeah, until they get around to releasing the um, DLC for House Flipper 1, the Dine Out DLC. I'm looking forward to that. And in fact, I'm thinking, gee, wouldn't it be fun? This, this year is um, going to be the 30th anniversary of when my husband and I got married, it would be fun if we could recreate the restaurant. And I, I, I did do it one time in House Flipper 1. If we could recreate the restaurant that we had our wedding reception in. Now, the furniture in this room, this, this bunk bed that I bought, is Camden. And just by coincidence, really, to the um, furniture in the master bedroom. But... Let's see what we can find for kids. First of all, it would be nice. This shelf is kind of nice. I like it. I don't know if there's anywhere room to put it, but oh, and we do want it to be um, matching wood. Yes. Okay. Um, I'm thinking maybe there, but not too high because after all, Kids have to be able to reach the shelves, right? As a matter of fact, I think there's a step stool. Or not called that. So, oh, there's a children's table, though. Hmm. No, let's not go with ebony. Let's go with painted wood, and we will make it a pretty green. Why not? Or we'll make it match the, uh, go along with the wallpaper. And is there a chair to go with that? What, what? brand is that? Children's Table Stork. Let's see. There is Children's Chair Stork. And we want it to be we're going to make it that color. Let's make it Let's make it a pretty green. Why not? Yes. Okay. That's that. Maybe what we'll do, since it's four children, is we'll put it down. Or maybe we won't. 
Let's see. There. Keep doing that like I was playing House Flipper 1. Okay, so that's that. We've got the bed and we need a dresser, I guess. Let's go back to Camden. Or no, let's stick with Stork. All right. What else is available in Stork? There is a dresser. And we will make it that color. Why not? And will it fit? Yay! It'll fit. There you go. All we need now is maybe a picture or two and some toys. And we are done. Let's see. Let's look for toys. Toy. Toys. 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 Well, we don't want that in the house. Let's see. Uh, how about a toy kitchen? Okay. This is just a tad crowded, but I think it looks okay. Oh, we you know what we need? And it's something that I honestly often forget let's put a light on the ceiling and get a switch for it um i wish they still had those star shaped lights that they had for kids in the in house flipper one there are some things from it that i miss and that is one of them I think that looks pretty decent. So I think we've done what we're planning to do for today up here. Um, let's see. We finished the bathroom. It has uh, blinds on the window so that you don't have people peeking in. Um, we did this bedroom. Excuse me. We did the bedroom. And I don't forget chocolate for Merck. Don't want you to forget. He's our friend. And he's a very special dog. So special he can eat chocolate without getting sick. Okay, so that's it for today's video. Um, please remember to uh, subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button. Share this video with your friends. And come back on Thursday when we'll finish this house. Now, if you've ever seen the compact house, you'll know that it was very crowded, very messy, um, it kind of gave me, uh, thoughts of my grandmother's house when I came into it for the first time because I love my grandmother dearly, but Hedwig, um, liked to collect things. Let's put it politely. She liked to collect things. She had a lot of hobbies and she, unfortunately, like me, um, like I am, she very often would end up with, she'd get a new hobby and she'd buy all the stuff she needed for it 
and then she'd get another new hobby and she'd buy all the stuff she needed for it. So I guess that's where I got it from. She and I spent a lot of time together when I was a little girl. She took care of me one summer while my mom was working and uh, we went to the library every two weeks and we got books about all kinds of things including um, card games, uh, how to make Christmas tree ornaments, how to all kinds of things. But we also read a lot of books together. We would sit on the porch on really hot summer afternoons and one or the other, we would take turns reading. I was perhaps eight years old. The summer I spent with Grandma, maybe seven or maybe nine. But whatever it was, um, I spent that summer with her and I loved it. She taught me how to make... Um, noodles from scratch. Uh, she taught me how to make um, all kinds of different things. But she taught me how to make them from scratch, not just take a bag that has noodles in it and throw it in a pot of boiling water. No, you mix the flour and the eggs and all the other ingredients and you roll it out and you cut it so fine that I don't know if you've ever seen the fine noodles they sometimes put in uh, soup those were our noodles and all done by hand. We didn't have a noodle making machine or a spaghetti making machine. We actually rolled it out with a rolling pin and cut it with a knife and that's how it worked. So um, back in the house flipper one days by the way I showed grandma's house where I spent a lot of time and as I said I loved going there. I loved being at her house, doing things with her, uh, going to the library, going for a ride, sitting on the front porch and reading to each other, playing card games. We played a lot of different card games that summer and it was a ball. It was a blast. Um, when I was sick one time, probably after that summer, she came and she took care of me. She cooked uh, potato soup and made noodles and did all those different things just to try and get me to eat because I really didn't feel like it. I had, um, it turned out that I had the mumps, but she came and took care of me. I really miss her and I really regret that she didn't get to see Matthew because he would have struck the same chord in her that I did. Two of a kind, you know? So, anyhow, stop being morbid, girl. We will be back Thursday. I will show you through the rest of the house. We'll do something with the basement. We will do something on the first floor, and then we will sell this house. Until then... Have a fantastic start to your week, and I will see you on Thursday. By the way, before before I go, I just want to mention, um, I've gotten a lot of subscribers over the last few months, and I really appreciate you joining me for this. I appreciate the time you spend with me. It's only twice a week now instead of three times. I may go back to three times, but... Right now, it's twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays. And again, that's it. This is the last one. I will see you on Thursday. Bye.